So what we'll be discussing today would be the basics of accounting. Now, what do we mean by accounting? What do we understand by accounting and why it is necessary for any working professional, whether it be a commerce student or non-commerce background person to understand how accounting works. So by definition, if I say it will be the art of recording, summarizing, recording, classifying, summarizing, analyzing an interpretation of a financial transaction of an enterprise. Very basic. Accounting is in uh, one equation that will be studying very, very shortly. And everybody who is working professional, he needs to understand accounting because if you invest somewhere, you need to know how the financials work for a company. So, what is account? So why we study account? What is account? It is a unit, unit of information that represents business records because your account account measures the uh, your business financially monet in monetary terms so anything which is in a non monetary term which will not be a part of accounting so basically in this part we're discussing five types of accounts asset liability equity revenue and expense what is an, what is an asset anything that we own that is in our possession that is an asset whether we use it for short term or in long term that is an asset which you use in your possession Anything which is in your possession, which is for a period of 12 months and you have to convert it into cash, that is called as your current asset. Anything which is a long term possession or fixed asset that will be depreciable. So that will be for long term asset and helping business to generate revenue for long term, that will be fixed assets. So, asset has majorly two classifications fixed assets and current asset. Liability again, we have a long term liability and short term liability, which has to pay it back within 12 months. That is the current liability, long term liability, which is due for more than 12 months. Equity, or you say the capital, that is the owner's investment money in the business, that is called as your capital, or you say the owner's equity, or you say the equity. Revenue and expense, uh, that is your, if your business generates some good amount of uh, uh, cash flows or incomes, that is called as revenue. If you have some expenses or losses, that is called as your expense. So we'll divide this classification for and further in the uh, practical portion that we're studying in. So attributes, as earlier said, the definition of accounting, the recording of business, uh, business transactions, whatever that we are making a transaction in a business that has to be have a recorded line. Invoices have to be there. Evidence has to be there. In case you don't have a recorded line of a business transaction, that transaction has no validity. Verbal 